All right. So here's the thing. You use fountain pens. You have progressed in your journey of the pen. You do not use cartridges anymore. You now use bottled ink. You're on the road. Maybe you're a student. You're in class. Your pen runs out. Maybe you're a businessman or a businesswoman. Uh, maybe you're a representative. You're in your car. Your pen has run out of ink. Maybe you're in a meeting. You cannot just take a giant bottle of ink. What do you do? I do apologize. That was a very annoying thing to do. And I do apologize. But I had a lot of caffeine. So, what do you do? Well, of course, there was the Visconti Traveling Inkwell. Right? Interesting concept. I have reviewed it. I have spilled a lot of ink with it. And now Dante Del Vecchio has left, the founder of the company has left Visconti and is now working with Penader. Now Penader has launched its own traveling inkwell. And I will be honest, I like this one a little better than the Visconti inkwell. And I'll tell you why. It's smaller. The Visconti inkwell was taller was a taller product, which made it a little awkward to carry around. This, I think, is a lovely size. It would fit a purse, it would fit a backpack, it may even fit a larger pen case. I happen to have here, by coincidence, a Galen leather case. Uh, this holds five pens, and I'm pretty sure I can make this work. It's a little tight, but look fits perfectly well. And here we have a large pen like the Opus 88 to give you a bit of a size comparison. Boom! Okay, so that works pretty well. Now, I am going to tempt faith and try to ink up a pen with this thing online. But this is one thing I want to talk to you about. This was sent to me by Joost Appelbaum of Appelbaum Pen. It comes in a cute little box. There is another object I want to talk to you about as we're on the topic of, of filling pens on the road and such. But um, basically, this is what you get. So you get this box. It is 19.95, so about 20 euros. It holds 10 cc's of ink. It's not cheap for something that's basically a tube. But on the other hand, this is the type of thing you purchase once and then you can use it many, many times. Why? Right? I don't see how this would really wear out really quickly. Little cardboard box, right? Has a couple of interesting features on it. One is a, a basically a size measuring device because the the pen that you put in here has to have a minimum diameter and also cannot exceed a certain maximum diameter. So uh, with this little, these little holes in the box, you can check, let me check, uh, if, if you're a good fit. Yeah, I'm a fit, right? So that, that's good. Now, of course, you don't want to try to stuff something that's too large into something that is too tight, right? I know all about it. I wish Aziza was here. She would destroy this comment right now. This would get, I would get destroyed. Oh well, okay. So there is a box, right? And in the box is three things. There is, of course, your traveling, almost use the old term, the portable filler, sorry, Freudian slip. There is this box, right, great. Um, and then there is some other stuff like your little manual, useful, because this may seem like it's simple to use, but there are some steps, right, manual, in Italian and English, also useful. Uh, and then there is a little eyedropper, which is actually a very nice touch to put that in, because you will, of course, need to take your favorite ink out of your bottle and put it in the traveling inkwell. Okay, the inkwell itself holds 10 cc's of ink, has a cap that does not come out easily, which of course is a good thing, because if this would pop off easily, then whatever you're carrying uh, this ink in is going to be stained with that ink. So right now, this is open, I'm going to be very careful. You may be able to tell there's a little line that says max, right? So you do not fill beyond that line. I err on the side of caution in this. I have been burned a couple times by the Visconti Traveling Inkwell, so I take it very easily, right? Take it, take it, uh, no, no issues. I don't want any issues. You have a little gauge on it that tells you how much ink is left, uh, which is also rather nice. So it starts off as 10 cc and then you have 3 cc's left. At some point, of course, you won't be able to get any more out of it unless you have the second accessory I'm going to show you in a second. There's a little rubber 
on the inside you see that blue stuff that's rubber that means that your pen will slide in but also there will be a good airtight fit between your pen and the inkwell right okay I'm gonna carefully close this not all the way because I need to open it again you can unscrew this big part I found you can take out the rubber part so you can clean all of these things separately which is a very nice touch finally on top here is a little lid which you can take out and then there is this now the Visconti traveling inkwell came with a little almost a thing that looked like a cigarette filter and I have uh, some people actually told me that that's what they use a little cigarette filter the advantage of that was that you could take that thing very absorbent right and put that in here and then you completely you're a what do you call that a, a um, completely self-reliant you don't need to bring anything else you don't need to look for a cloth or anything because you have that little dabbing unit to, to dab the section dry or the nib dry if you need to after using this object to fill your pen but mine did not come with anything so you can always use this to smuggle uh, diamonds across the border or something you know uh, you could you could do that you could smuggle stuff in here you could put tiny things in there I really don't know what you would do with it beyond something like that that filter scenario but the idea is nice now tempting faith faith no fate although in a way maybe also also fate faith sorry now I'm mixing up the two it's gone to Opera Master I'm working on it I'm giving you scared looks the theory of the Visconti traveling inkwell was that when it comes to a Visconti double reservoir power filler you should be able to fill up the entire pen now if you stick this thing in a bottle of ink and I push this down create a vacuum ink is drawn up you never get a full fill it never works there is a trick you can use to get that full fill which I have a video on but you won't now because this creates a vacuum supposedly it works very well I'm going to try to make this happen I don't know what will happen exactly okay that's a good fit I won't push that in any farther now I have to expel some air there I'm gonna put my finger on there because I'm going to first push some air into it I don't want this thing to pop off it has happened in the past and then we're going to see what happens I'm trying to do this in such a way that you can see as much of what's going on here as possible maybe there tilt it a little bit so you don't have so much of a reflection there we go I'm gonna push it Half fill. Okay, so this is what I would get out of a normal ink bottle too. Okay, so I don't get the full fill, that's okay. Another thing I want to see is how much ink is on the section. Almost nothing. Let me close off this little thing. Okay, uh, so first of all, we have used up a few cc's of ink, kind of nice, and the section. You see it's almost ink-free. There's a couple of tiny drops. Well, don't complain about it. You're a fountain pen user. That's what you can use your fingers for, right? Almost nothing on my hand. And that's pretty sweet. So if you were to carry a little cloth, if you were to put one of those cigarette filters in, in the uh, portable filler, sorry, I just want to make sure I, I, I label it properly, then you wouldn't have to carry anything. And it works pretty well. You saw this worked well, the thing didn't pop off. So, pretty good. This will write, yeah, straight away because the feeds have been saturated. Lovely. Works well. So, I'm quite happy with that. Now, talk a little bit more about that. I think it's a great invention. I think it's nice. I think it's useful. This is something that I would, I would keep in the office. I don't need a giant bottle of ink in the office. I just want this, right? I have what I need. There are some advantages and disadvantages. One clear advantage is that uh, this is very useful. It's a very handy little tool. However, there are disadvantages as well. Disadvantages, it will only hold one ink. Yeah, that's the way it is, right? People complain about it, that's the way it is. But then I always think, yeah, but so does a bottle of ink. I mean, wh wh what do you expect, right? It'd be really cool, free suggestion, if they would make one that has two reservoirs. So basically one of these and then connect it to that another one of those. It would become a little bigger, I think it has potential. But on the other hand, yeah, then you can carry one ink. 
yeah, that's the way it is. You may have to buy multiples. 20 euros, not cheap for what's basically a tube. But that's the thing though. It's not just a tube. People say that, and I'm not trying to defend this product. I mean, I'm not, I'm not involved. I don't get any profit out of the sales of this thing. But it's not just the tube. You can carry a sample vial, which would be even smaller, but then you will need a cloth. You need something to wipe your pen down because you're going to put that in. The section is going to get ink on it. With this, see, I knocked it over. You see that? I just knocked it over. This is why I cannot have nice things, and this is why I had to close it immediately. Now you know why. Okay. It's not just the tube. Because of that rubber insert, you see how clean the section was out of that. And I will tell you right now, if I ink up this pen in a bottle of ink, there was sec there's ink all over the section. So I think it's a pretty nice, decent invention. It works rather well. Now here's a second product, also by Penader, the Fountain Pen Snorkel. Not Fountain Pen, Fountain Pen's Snorkel. Okay? Comes in a little uh, cardboard sleeve and has a little sort of manual to it as well, right? Now, how does this work? Very cute, cute little device, all right? Visconti had a similar thing called the Mosquito Filler. Uh, this is Panader's version that came with certain pens. This is Panader's version. That thing was a little different because that actually slipped over the nib. This item is designed to get the last drops of ink out of your bottle, which is very cool because if you use bottle ink, you know that at some point, the nib is too big, you can't draw up any more ink. <clears throat> so what do you do with this? This is an object that you are supposed to place on a converter. I uh, yeah, sit down and say, oh, this will not hurt much. <laughs> Works well. Take the converter, you slip in this part, in the bottle of ink, draw up ink. Could be used together with your traveling with your portable filler once this runs very low because as you can see this will reach right it will reach to the bottom of course you will need to use a cartridge converter filled pen obviously this will not work with a piston filled pen or a power filler or a lever filler any of those things but i like this concept right this is another small tool that you can carry around and that will help you also you don't have to get your pen dirty because you don't need to dip the nib into the ink. Now the only problem with that is, yes, your section will not have ink all over it, but your feet is also not primed. So if I fill this up with ink, take this off, put that in the pen, the pen will not write straight away. So that is something to be aware of. But again, if you use it to, to draw up the large drops of ink, that could be very useful. Advantages and disadvantages of this product, which of course, this was also sent to me by Apple Bomb, right? Same shipment. Now, uh, this thing costs 14.95, so 15 euros for what is basically a little metal tube. Not cheap, but on the other hand, again, this is metal. I don't see this wearing out any day soon. I see a lot of potential in this because, yes, I do use bottles of ink, and yes, at some point, it will become difficult to draw up the ink. Also, some bottles are terrible. The Jehoban bottles I don't like because pretty much any nib will just not fit in there very well and you can't draw up much ink. So this will work. Now, if you use, again, a piston filler, a power filler, a lever filler, any of the vintage systems, button fillers, whatever, this won't work. You need a converter, right? But provided that you have a converter fill pen or cartridge converter fill pen, you will be okay. The bigger issue is, there's no such thing as a free lunch and there's no such thing as a completely universal system. So what I've just shown you, that's a, a Schmidt, I think, it's the, I think it's the K10, one of those standard Schmidt converters. Schmidt makes basically all the converters in the world, right? So a Schmidt converter, standard international in other words, that works very well. But now let's look at some other systems. Here I have a Lamy converter because of course not every pen manufacturer uses standard international. Lamy system, the Lamy system is proprietary. However, it fits. As you can see, this converter slips in a bit farther, works, no issue. So Lamy works. I have heard that Schaefer is an issue and that Platinum is an issue. I couldn't find a, um, a Schaefer converter really quickly here, so I'm sorry, but I have some other stuff for you that's also a popular brand. So according to the Applebaum website, Platinum and Schaefer is out. Uh, I was thinking of Cross because they have long converts but I think that may fit. Here I have a Sailor, 
converter, which is also a proprietary system, it doesn't fit. The opening is too wide. Then we have platinum, which has an even wider opening, so it doesn't really fit, although what I will say is you have that little rubber o-ring there and that kind of fits in here. I'm not saying this is the most stable system, but you may be able to make this work. May be able to make that work. Uh, and then, uh, no, this is not the same version. So, I've already shown you that. So, it will not work with everything. This is a bit of one size fits most scenario, I think. But I like it. I like this portable filler. I like this snorkel filler because it does give you some functionality that you may lack on a fountain pen. They're not cheap. But that's the way it is. Fountain pens are not cheap. So, I don't think the price is terrible. I think it is reasonable for what you get, especially for this thing. It has, has some, some cool features to it. I think it's nice. So, a very kind thank you to Yoast for sending me these items. I appreciate it. I hope this overview of the products was useful. If you have any questions, of course, you can post them below. And uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.